escape from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon So, buddy drove like 10 metres down the drive and first cracking around, but I thought I missed. But um, when I went up there actually, it uh, had sucked in a whole bunch of fur. <clears throat> no blood though, I've actually stupidly cleaned a lot of it off now. But uh, <clears throat> So I might come back a little bit later actually and see if we can find that rabbit. But um, it's, what is it now, 7 o'clock at night basically. Been in Wellington about two, three hours, uh, and yeah, I'm uh, I'm heading out to try and get some goats. Um, this, uh, yeah, I was just had to have a little cheeky crack at that that uh, rabbit. That's for sure. So its collar's still good on this actually. So be sure to go there to clean up tonight and uh, get it back working again. So. This is uh, where I grew up, basically, in this beautiful valley. Well, it's part of the valley system anyway. <clears throat> Super steep hill. I think there's a couple of goats over there now, look at it. Uh, don't, don't have quite the same uh, eye for them anymore. But let's have a look. Yeah, that are a sheep. It's a sheep. But uh, yeah, it's really steep hills. Awesome though. So I'm just going to work my way up this property. It's not super big, but I've got about an hour, hour and a half, something like that to come in, get in, get out. Um, the guy was saying there's uh, <clears throat> been some pigs up here recently, so we'll see how we go. I'd only gone a hundred meters when I spotted this little guy. Absolutely drilled it. Oh. Look, there's a freaking hair up there too. Look at this. Where has it gone? There, look at that. That there is probably, geez, that's 40, 50 meters that one. I'm not, I'm not going to have a blast at that. Vector, bro. I'm pretty sure that was your arrow. I sent it, bro. I freaking sent it. We're gonna have some nice, nice rabbit for uh, dinner now. It's good. I'm gonna go and pick it up.
let's have a look sand it oh, flip the screen around so I can see what I'm doing back to bro look I sent it gave it the old big fat send for you mate wrap it down that was 30 meters that one I think and I'm viewer discretion be aware these hypodermics look at this mate that wasn't going anywhere look at this <laughs> it's like I freaking hit it with a shotgun or something holy crap that's amazing I'm gonna leave this here because I can come back down past this pick it up on the way let it give a chance to cool down too I think that's a cow up there but man it smoked that thing hot damn with light rapidly fading, I make my way uphill. But it's not long before I find what I've been looking for. Busted, unfortunately, but I do continue to push after this goat because there's more than one and as I'll explain later on Often if only one has seen you the others won't have clicked on yet And what I was hoping for was correct The goats are still there Well, it's basically the end of day, day one. <laughs> the uh, goat chase was good fun, it's running out of light. Um, when they're in groups like that, there's only like one that kind of sees you. Often the others will make a mistake. That one I filmed, I was sure it was going to come out the other side of the gorse bush. Um, but it just didn't, it didn't come out. It went, continued down straight through the hill. So. They actually went through the valley and back up on top uh, and then I had a guess at one and it was just underneath, it was beautifully sideways, must have been 40 instead of a 30 I thought it was and the, the fading light and stuff gets a little bit hard to, to judge sometimes. I am loving the absolute uh, bejesus out of this obsession bow. Um, it just, like you pull it back, it's so smooth. 
Um, yeah, I mean, some of you guys know bows I had previously. This is by far the smoothest and the nicest to use. You just lock back and it's, it's good to go. Like, you know, I smoked that rabbit at 30, no worries, um, which is quite a good target for that, that range. And then if I had actually bought my bloody rangefinder for that uh, last goat. Oh man, I would have had him, no worries at all too. Just went like under here. Anyway, I'm going to head back down, I'm going to get my bag. Um, I left it, jeez, 150, 200 metres down that way when I started stalking those goats. There's a chance I still bump into some on the way back out. They sometimes loop right back around behind you. But the wind's wrong now, it's going back down the hill. It was good, it was good before it was there. Hill. Sorry, it's always been coming down the hill. I'm going down the hill with the wind now too, so probably less likely to bump into something. First star too, and the uh, sky. But this is where I grew up. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh, will the camera? Will the camera find the star? Look at that. There it is. First star in the morning of the night, I should say. Bloody good first uh, try with that obsession bow. I couldn't be happier, really. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hit it really super early in the morning and see what we can find. Catch you later. No goats day one, but it was so good to be in the hills. Day two, however, was going to prove to be much more successful. Day two started off with me actually spotting some back down below. So I had to loop back down where I'd just come and I tried to put a stalk on them. However, when I got up to the fence line, I couldn't see any goats at all and I had presumed that I'd spooked them. So I headed back up the hill, but on my way back down, I spotted them again. Quickly. I didn't scare those goats before. They must have just disappeared in the course. Because there they are feeding away happily. Look, same black and white one, white one, and no grey one. So I'm going to zoom back out again. Go. There's a track here. I think I'll follow this track down. My finger down there. And down into the valley and try and come back on top of them.
and then I'll drag it out up under here. Oh, that's good. First goat down. Oh man, I'm so worried it ran. I don't have much light left. I'm only gonna drag this out. Gonna get my other camera and it'll be back up here next time we see it. Ew. Oh, it feels good to get such a textbook shot. Look at this. Right in behind the leg. I remember it was cornering away a little bit. And then out here. Beautiful. Just cut it off at the heart. This young Billy. Doesn't really smell much yet. So the, uh, the meat will be good. I have no idea where the, uh, the arrow went. It's too dark to see. I might have a little quick look, but complete pass through. Um, it's, uh, I don't even know if you can see me. <laughs> uh, yeah, complete pass through. I don't know if we're going to find that arrow again. Don't know. Maybe. Maybe get lucky. But, uh, yeah, I might have to come back tomorrow and have a look. Have a look at the footage. Try and work out where, where it actually was. But, you know, I mean, it, it's a little bit darker. There's like no blood trail. Actually, no blood trail. I can see anyway. Maybe I've got some on my legs. But, uh... Oh, it feels good finally get a goat. Tell ya. I went back the next morning to get some back steaks and meat off the goat. Take some photos in the light. Try and find the arrow, but unfortunately, Jay, your arrow is no more, man. There are still lots more episodes to come from the New Zealand trip, including some fishing. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out.